What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And, uh, you know, I think a lot gets kind of swept under the rug, <clears throat> literally, uh, when we talk about social media platforms like TikTok um, and the dangers that lurk there, the kind of people that lurk there. Certainly, they exist on <clears throat> all other kinds of social media, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. But there seems to be a high concentration of them on TikTok, in particular ones that make content that may bring the type of audience that they want. You know, TikTok is a primarily a younger, young person's platform, although more and more old people seem to get into it. And there's certainly some wholesome content on there. There's some, you know, how to's and things like that that work really good on that platform. But there's also a bunch of very questionable stuff. And I think this is an important message to continue to remind people to be careful, you know, when you let your, your kids go on these platforms because anonymity allows just about anybody on there to be a star. TikTok star rabbi who adopted nine boys as a single dad, well, did all sorts of terrible things to them. Also, faked his Judaism and a fake chronic illness. That's like the trifecta, big P word, uh, a rabbi who gained fame on social media for adopting nine boys uh, as a single father was arrested after one of their sons, uh, well, came out and said perhaps exactly what you might think. One of his sons, the, w the way he got caught, too, is very interesting. One of his sons called into a podcast. To make the claim. The 17 year old boy, uh, uh, you know. I mean, oh, he also claimed that the dad had done things to all of the kids. Of course, he's also been accused of faking his Orthodox Jewish heritage and alleged that, and his alleged disabilities, having claimed he was raised in, the Hasid, raised in a Hasidic community in New York City. But records show Cohen, who lives in Houston, was in fact from Odessa, Texas, and that his real name was Jeffrey Lujan Vegel, according to Redux. Shout out to Redux, nice work. He regularly posed for photos while hooked up to an oxygen tank and in a wheelchair, but his adopted sons claimed even that was faked. Looks like a real winner. Hmm? So one of his kids called into a podcast on February 1st and claimed that, well, he did terrible things. He said that he had used a burner phone to avoid detection from his dad, his adopted father. And then he was planning to wait until he was 18 until he could report it to p police. But you don't have to wait till you're 18. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that they called in now. Maybe that's just something they thought, you know, was the way things worked. I don't know. The podcasters then later called the PD who were able to trace the phone and went to see the boy. Initially, he denied that he made the claims, but later became visibly scared, shaking, held his head down when police played him a recording of the call. He eventually admitted that he was the one who made the call and told the PD that he was not brave enough to say anything about the bad behavior. Well, I would say he's very brave. The fact that he made the call uh, is is a very brave thing. Um, you know, especially <clears throat> being adopted, um, having, you know, even, well, just at that age, you know, what do you go? What do you can turn in the only guy that, the only person that feeds you, takes care of you? Chief prosecutor for Harris County District Attorneys um, went, you know, uh, digging around and said that their dad would pepper spray them if they refused to comply. Oswald also claimed that Cohn inten intentionally used the guise of religion and a, uh, and a facade on social media to try and hide the true nature of his crimes. So again, he made all these kids hug him and, and take these pictures, but he's not in a wheelchair. He's not on oxygen. That social media presence included a TikTok page with over 200,000 followers, along with a widely viewed YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram profile. 
on those accounts, Cohen and his family would showcase their religious lifestyle. And the adoptive patriarch advocated for single men to adopt children. Well, yeah, if you're uh, a P word, apparently. Our mission is to help provide support and understanding from a Jewish perspective. Wasn't Jewish. Our goal is to reach out to other homeschooling families in order to create a network. Cohen wrote on his website. Why does he want more boys? We're open to all levels of observance. Please feel free to contest. But some accuse Cohen of fabricating the religious lifestyle and background. Well, yeah. Fake oxygen. Why does this guy look like Boogie? Sorry. Just does. On social media and in public, Cohen often appeared in a wheelchair and wearing an oxygen mask. His own adoptive sons even said it was a fabrication with one boy telling KTRK, everything Cohen does <clears throat> is fake. The teen stated that Cohen only uses his wheelchair when people come over or when he's in public. Cohen's charging document read, the teen stated that he has six oxygen tanks, doesn't use them, and that Cohen only coughs uncontrollably when he's in court. The attorney representing the exchange student Cohen was accused of doing terrible things too. There were so many red flags, flag, fl flags. We all suspected, we all suspected he was the P word, but you just don't start just one day. We all suspected bad behavior. Well, here's the interesting thing here is how is he able to adopt all these kids? I guess it shows kind of the rough state. It shows kind of the rough state of the adoption world. Like, so many kids need homes, especially older ones. This isn't the first time, by the way. This isn't the, uh, the first time that this has happened. It happened not that long ago with um, two men who adopted a son and then did terrible things. This via the New York Post. A phony Hasidic dad who found social media claim for adopting nine boys has been charged with, well, doing terrible things to most of them. While out on bond, I wonder, um, he regularly blogged about the unique family in Houston, getting nearly 200,000 followers. I wonder what his YouTube channel was. You know, let me see. Well, I can't seem to find it, and perhaps it's taken down, I certainly hope. Now, certainly these are alleged, but uh, this is uh, probably not, uh, you know, made up. But what's interestingly, disturbingly, it happened despite Cohen still facing criminal charge for uh, bad behavior with a young and two with a foreign exchange student from Spain in 2019. His bond conditions prevented him from going a thousand feet in front of places where kids may be, such as a school, but not from raising his adopted kids. I mean, who kept giving this guy kids? Like, I became a go-to adopted destination for Orthodox boys in the foster care system. I'm a minority within a minority within a minority. His social media also claimed that he was terminally ill, and then he arrived on his last court hearing in a wheelchair and an oxygen mask. However, the teen also alleged that all of that was fake. Well, I'm glad they, I, 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 I'm really glad that they found this guy um, and you know, he's out there on TikTok. People like this, you know, like golly, it's just so evil. Um, you know, you already have like the situation where uh, you have people like adopting kids for social media clout, which absolutely is a thing that happens. Um, but this obviously is, I don't know, not perhaps the best movie or video story to end the day on, but also an important one to, <clears throat> you know, think about when, you know, people are on TikTok, people aren't, you know, don't always present uh, who they are. And, um, well, I hope this guy, if what they say is true, I hope he, uh, you know, goes straight down. You know, he amassed social media following in which he showcased his large family's religious lifestyle and advocated for single men adopting children. Uh, but, he was not adopting. He's supposed to. This is like particularly uh, so sick. Be careful uh, on TikTok, folks. Um, and I hope this guy uh, gets everything coming to him that is legally allowed.
I hope you're informed by this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.